variables and operators. So today in this lesson, we're going to be looking at uh, what are variables and how to define variables in Python. Then what operators do we use and how are they used in Python? Now, uh, what are variables? Variables are just like uh, uh, names given to data to be stored or manipulated in our program. So you just want to give something, you know, maybe for example, my variable equals 100. You need something to hold, maybe student score. You can call a variable student score equals 100. Okay. Now, some basic naming rules in Python you need to be aware of. So it can be letters, numbers, or underscoring and combination of all these. Uh, but you can start with a number. It's not allowed. You can say too far or too variable. You cannot. Uh, it cannot be a reserved keyword. Uh, some keywords that represent commands in Python, of course, you they cannot be. You, otherwise, there will be confusion if that is uh, allowed. Okay. Uh huh. So let's get into it straight away. Uh, open up your spider IDE. Uh, we created this in the last video. Uh, you have to use uh, this for your SEO indeed. So you can have a notepad, you can have some other ones like uh, PyCharm, whatever is the name, just you can have this just to do. Just make sure that it, it's the code is what you want to write it in that matters. Okay, now here, another one we have something like this. What does it mean? So these helps us to understand what comments are in uh, Python. Python, whenever you start a line with the hash symbol, or maybe some people call this pound, whatever you do, anything that follows is ignored by the computer, by the interpreter. Okay, uh, if you use triple uh, double quotes like this, whatsoever is in between it again, is ignored, is ignored. So at least we learned that already in Python uh, first. Ever. Now let's create a little uh, hello world application, just like every program started. So we're gonna say, just type this with me, print, and then write hello world. Now, this gives you some, uh, Whenever you type a command like this, you will see a drop down so that gives you more info away to what you've done. So you can come in and say run. So you just uh, close this console window, open another one. So and then run. Close again. So this is your output. Hello world. What you're just doing here is to print hello world. Now back to uh, variables and operators. I uh, just want to increase the size and variables. Like I said, you just say if a variable is this in my well equals Hundred. That's how to assign variable in Python. You can do a lot of things. You can say how uh, x uh, equals fifty, and then say y equals hundred. That's okay as well. Just run the selection. And we have it here. You notice that every statement is more. Uh, uh, if you because I want to have this, I have to put this semicolon to statement. This is one statement, this is another. I want to believe in the same line, that's why I have to uh, put uh, a semicolon. Uh, it's also okay if you say something like uh, a, b, c equals 
one corner, two corner, three. It's okay. It's going to assign A to one, B to two, C to three. So here you can just say, okay, if you want to be sure, what is A? One, B, two, C, three. So let me get this a little more bolder so you guys can see it on pro shape zoom out. Yeah. So um variables and of course we talk about the naming rule. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. so conventions when naming you have three really like two conventions you say the camel case. Camel case refers to when you uh have to make uh, something like this where you the first letter is lowercase but every word starts with uppercase. For example, my variable equals Hundred. Uh, give me two more examples. You can say okay. Um, lists of var. So that is uh, called the coming case. And another option now uh, it's is the uh, snake case. That's where you use underscore. Oh, pardon my capital here. What I should should have done is lowercase. Everything in lowercase, but every word separated by a an underscore sign. Now let's talk about operators. Basically, operators are we have mathematical operators, we have uh, logical operators, and all that. So let's start with uh, mathematical ones. Uh, I'm just going to be using this space directly near the plus sign. We are uh, this will be say x is one, y is two. So we can say x plus y. We have our outputs. We have the minus. We have uh, multiplication. X times y. Asterisk is what you use. Uh, we have division, and that's where you use slash. So we have uh, what is called a modulus. Modulus is uh, we use the percentage sign. And what modulus does is you you remain that when you divide. So if you say three divided by two, or let's say four divided four divided by two, you know your answer is two. And the remainder is zero, so you have zero. So modulus gives you the remainder when you divide. That's um then we also have uh, the double slash. The double slash just uh, make sure it runs to the to the nearest whole number whenever you divide. Let's for example say okay um, four double slash three so of course you know it's still the one point something something so but here you have one it's rounded up oh let's say um five divided by you know five divided by two is two point five now let's say five double slash two so it runs to the name to the first now uh, the, the personal number not not Approximate of three, not the most normal mathematical approximation. So be careful of that in Python. Uh, sometimes when you're rounding up, it rounds up to not the regular math where 2.5 you round up to three. You can ask them like 3.5 and it's rounding down. 
Odin, no. Well, I mean, let's let's make that for a later time. This is it's not for this uh, level right now. We have another word, another thing we call the yes pronunciation. That's uh, when you have the uh, uh, what in maths we call raised to power index. So let's say two raised to power three. You know, we really know what that is. Eight because two times two times two. So we represent it by double asterisk sign. Okay, I think we're going somewhere. We're moving. Uh, right now, you would have seen that uh, the way we use equal to here is as assignment, is an assignment operator. Uh, we, to assign values, we want to assign, let's say, 300 to hex. This equals 300. It does not mean that uh, we're comparing if x equals to 300. There, if you want to make comparison, there is another operator for that. And uh, usually you want to use double equal. So it becomes something like this then. Okay, I think we just better write this here. Uh -huh. So it's saying now we already assigned something to x here. Uh, it's saying no, it's not equal to say x is one. I want to be sure x is one. So it's saying no, it's not equal to 300. This, this is saying is x equal to 300. It's different from when you assign x to 300. You say no, x should be 300. So please, uh, let's take note of uh, that difference. So, hmm. uh, another thing we have in Python is uh, increment, post increment, pre increment. A situation where we have, uh, okay, plus equal. So let's zoom, x is 300 here, right? We want to say, whatever x is, Increase by 300. Two ways you can say x equals x plus 300. So, whatever x used to be, it's gonna be oh, sorry, one. Whatever x used to be, it's gonna be increased. So, now it's 301. Another way we can do that is to say x plus equal one. So when we output, you see that it has become 302. So when you say point number, you see something like plus equal, it's just saying wherever x is plus, whatever x used to be, plus it by one. So you can now swap the same thing for minus equal one. So you say whatever x used to be, remove one. Same thing with uh, asterisk for multiplication. Uh, you just say asterisk, whatever x used to be. Instead of saying x equals x times two, for example, just come, just remove this, remove this, and uh, put it this way. And when you see x now, it's now 6 of 2. It's not difficult, you just need to uh, understand how it works. Aha! Uh -huh. So, basically, what we have after these are what are called the logic operators. Logic operators, just you have something greater than, this is for comparison. We um, have greater than. By this symbol, we have less than, we have greater or equal, less or equal, whenever you will leave not equal, or 
equal. So these are all for comparison. Okay. These are all for comparison. And then in the bead mass rule, it's some something called the bead mass rule. Bead mass means uh, brackets, index, division, multiplication, uh, addition, and subtraction. This is just the mathematical the equivalence of your maths board mass. It states the order in which uh, Python will run your program. In case you have a variable, let's say you say two times brackets. Uh, two plus five four divided by three. Are we saying four divided by three? Are we saying two times uh, two plus four? Then that's six divided by three. That's two and times two. No, it start with bracket. Whatever is in bracket is evaluated first, and then any index. Any division, so yeah, when you get into this bracket, four over three is four divided by three is evaluated first. So that's I think that's one point, maybe one point three three three, and then it's whatever answer it's added before this addition is done. So this just tells you the basic rule whenever you're uh, whenever you're dealing with uh, Python. So it's very important to take note of uh, these rule. So far we've learned a lot. We've learned how variables and operators are in Python. We've seen the naming rules, the naming rules for variables. It can only be letters, underscore numbers, cannot start with a number, cannot be a reserve keyword. We've seen the camera case, the snake case, and there's also what's called the basket case, but we didn't cover that. Just Whatever you do, you just ensure you stick to a method so that you, you, you don't confuse yourself. Uh, we've seen the operators for addition, division, multiplication, uh, subtraction, the modulus, the exponentiation. We've seen uh, great logic operators and all that. And in the next video, we shall be talking about data types in Python. Be sure to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you then.